Enrico Letta, former Prime Minister of Italy, now in Paris as Dean of the School of International Relations at, at um, Sciences Po, um, who can, I hope, get up above nationalism and tell us really what, what is straining Europe in your view and what matters most, what needs to be fixed most. I, I think it was very good to have this session, Thierry, immediately after Kevin's session on China because I guess at the end of the day, our takes on uh, Europe as puissance, as Hubert said, uh, can only be shaped in the discussion about the relationship with China and the US. So in the new world in which uh, G2 is, is taking place, there's a new topic for Europe, and the new topic is being together. The alternative, the other option, is having just the choice in 10 years' time to be uh, singularly uh, an American colony or a Chinese colony. That is the big topic, and there's no other discussion on that. And I think it's, uh, it's the main point today. With 28 Brexit, the choice would be only for each of our countries to be an American colony or a Chinese colony. And I think Brexit was the idea of the UK to be in next uh, century, to be uh, the f 51st uh, American state or something like that. Uh, I think Europe can be a third superpower, only being united and only being united and taking leadership on two main subjects and two main subjects are subject for the future. And the two main subjects for the future are uh, climate change. We had a terrific panel this morning on that. And the second one is technological humanism, if I may say. And in the word, able to take leadership on how uh, to have good regulation, how to protect persons' rights. It was very good this morning. We had this point about ownership of data corporations in, in the US, uh, state in China, and person in Europe. And at the end of the day, that is the true difference, and that allows us to, to think to have a leadership on that. So I think we have to develop this point, and we have to take this leadership. Uh, so these two are, for me, the main subject for the future. And I think Ursula von der Leyen had a good choice having some competences for the vice president of the commission, having these two subjects at the very top of the list with Vestager and uh, uh, Timmermans on these two topics. There's a but on all this uh, discussion that is the fact that everything can be completely overwhelmed by this present Turkish situation. Yeah. I say that because I, I remember has the how the, the, the previous migration crisis raised, and it was with the Syrian uh, crisis. We underestimated consequences of the uh, mismanagement of the Syrian crisis, and we had uh, one million of people, and we had uh, completely disaster politically. I think, uh, with all the consequences we know, I think partially Brexit was also because of the images of jungle of Calais and uh, Cologne, uh, uh, the Italian situation because of that, and then uh, uh, IFD in Germany, and Vox in, uh, in, in Spain, and, uh, and, and the rest. So mm -hmm. my final point, uh, Stephen, is I'm really worried about what is happening, because there are two topics. One is uh, Erdogan's threats, to, but there's the second one. His threats to open the door, that's yeah. the point. But there's the second one. The second one is that if the war will continue, we will have Kurdish uh, immigrants. And that will be for us Europeans without enough new rules, because we, during the crisis, we had two crises, financial crisis and migration crisis. For financial crisis, we fixed the roof, partially, but we fixed. We created the ESM, uh, we had many new tools, for migration crisis, the situation today is as it was five yes. years ago, six totally. years ago. We don't have tools. So right. my final point is that I hope we will be able uh, to face this threat. This mm -hmm. threat can be a disaster for Europe right. in the next right. Uh, right. 
right. months. Right. And I think on this migration crisis, we, we need to have new emergency tools and not to uh, look at business as usual tools, tools because they don't work. Right. 